all I can say with this is I'm all in. I absolutely adore lower league management and taking teams back to the big time. This is going to be a quality series. The story of Darlington is such an interesting one. It's probably the main reason that I decided to try and resurrect them. I was always going to be a lower league team, but Darlington stood out. Now, if you notice on those clips, just going through the slideshow there, there's two stadiums getting shown. One of which is hella impressive. It's a 25,000 capacity Darlington Arena. They moved into that arena in 2003. But the other stadium is their current home. So what's happened? Well, the cost of the stadium, the arena, is what's given as the major reason why Darlington fell into administration and got into such strife. And what's caused them to go spiraling, spiraling down the leagues. So much so that they were expelled from the league because they couldn't pay the creditors. Immediately, a bunch of supporters reformed the club under a slightly different name, Darlington 1883, and they were moved and put into the ninth tier of English football. Now they've worked their way back up, they're now in the sixth tier of English football, the Vanarama North, which is where we're going to pick up the journey and try and resurrect them and get them back into the football league. As a sub note, they are no longer called Darlington 1883. They were eventually allowed to rename themselves back to what they originally were as Darlington FC. So, as I say, those clips to the side there, the Globe Arena is no longer our home. We now play in Blackwell Meadows, which is the second clip. There it is. A lot more modest, but I like the way we're going to start there. And who knows, by the end of this save, we might get to or even exceed the Darlington Arena there and get a bigger stadium. That's part of the goal anyway. Best performance is well, we've got a bit of work to do. Just reading up and doing a bit of research on the club. The highest league finish was 15th in Football League Second Division. So that'll be the championship now. But that was in 1925. So we're getting close to 100 years since our best league performance. So that's one to aim for. Best performance in the FA Cup. Two appearances in the last 16. I mean, that might be a few seasons down on this save, but it's another one we're going to aim for. We'll aim to win that FA Cup and bring that home as well. Bit of club history. So you can see it's been a bit of a rocky period for the boys. They were up in League 2 in 99 to 2000. Steady, steady progress without anything spectacular. Unfortunately, it started to go a bit wrong around 09 10. That's when they finished 24th in the league. And then, obviously, the trauma happened with the arena, the administration, and they get downgraded after re phoenix from the flames down into the ninth tier and then you can see steady progress including a lot of back-to-back -back promotions but we've been stuck in the van north which i know the feeling because it's a brutal league been stuck there for four seasons now so hopefully me coming in we can affect the change there and get them back back up into the league into professional status we're in the van north obviously we're going to have not a lot of money to spend We'll get onto the current squad shortly. The series transfer policy, there's nothing quirky about it. I'm not signing players that are only ginger haired or have only got four toes on the left foot. We're gonna do what we can. We're gonna wheel and deal, but first season, we're gonna try and keep as hold of as much of the squad as possible. This is so any Darlington fans watching can, they can basically help me out. They're gonna know the squad better than I have. We'll analyze them and we'll have a look. So transfer policy wise, we'll get some free transfers in because I'm guessing, I haven't looked yet, but I'm guessing we're not going to have a lot of money to spend, if any at all. So it's going to be a series of free transfers, I'm going to try and loan, I'm going to try and get ourselves an affiliate club, a higher club, and try and get some of their young players in. But the current squad are all going to get a chance. There is the current squad, and as you can see, it's pretty small, isn't it? It's a pretty small squad, I haven't had a good look at it yet, but only two strikers for example now if anyone's ever played the van north or the van national leagues in fm they are brutal brutal leagues lots of games really hard to get promoted so looking at it we will have to get some players in but all these lads all these lads will be getting their chance to shine there's a couple of notable names that you might remember nicky hunt used to play for bolton back in the day and adam campbell i'm pretty sure who used to play for middlesbrough there he is 
Only 25, which is interesting. Newcastle it was. Newcastle, not Middlesbrough. I do apologise. Newcastle, he's been about a bit, but last season on, for Darlington, look, he scored 15 and 33. So he might be a very key player for us. Looks like he's got a bit of adaptability as well. So, interesting. Looks like we've got a bit of work to do, though. Target for the series. Well, I'm all in with this. I'm all in with it. I've even bought the shirt from the club shop. Got it sent to me. I'm going to get the home shirt as well, but I really like this away shirt. It's dead cool. I've got a couple of friends, a couple of close friends who are Darlington fans. So that was another factor in my decision. The goal for this is to get Darlington up through the leagues into the Premier League, grow the club. We've got a long time at it. I'm going to try and get as many promotions as we can while being sensible and not putting them into financial stress because they've had enough of that, the fans. Let's be honest. And let's get them back into a stadium they can be proud of as well. Who knows where we can go with them, but we are looking forward to this. As I say, I'm all in. There's the shirt, that side even. And we'll see where we go. One final point is I've tried to contact the club to maybe get them involved a bit, get their YouTube series displayed for their fans to see, because I'd love a bit of fan support, as in helping me choose the squad for a start, because they're going to have a better knowledge of the first 11 when we first start off than I have. What do I need? Do I need some centre backs or we've got the centre backs good enough? So hopefully we'll keep trying, we'll keep trying to get in touch with Darlington FC, the supporters groups. And we'll be able to post regular updates to them as well so they can get involved too. Start date will be the 24th when FM21 comes out and we'll get rolling with it straight away. The first update will probably be about the day after, something like that. Let's have an analyse of the squad, a proper look. Let's get into it, can't wait. Oh,